So guys, it looks like more great news has just surfaced on the new Model Ys with a ton of new features coming that were never advertised before. A lot of them are already existing on your cars today, but many more are coming in the next couple of months. These features here are enabled through the combined hardware and software upgrades. So depending on which model you have, when you took delivery, and the exact batch that you received, this is going to determine if your car received all of the upgrades. First off, Tesla has begun rolling out an update that activates a new safety system and introduces support for first row cabin sensing through the new high definition interior radar available in all the latest vehicles. This functionality allows Tesla to replace the seat occupancy sensors in the front seats while also offering a more precise assessment of its interior. The new radar offers several safety features aimed at protecting passengers. It also detects and classifies passenger size to dynamically adjust airbag deployment and reducing injury risk for shorter individuals. The radar can differentiate between adults, children, and babies, making real-time adjustments while also monitoring heart rate and breathing triggering safety actions if it is necessary. If a child or baby is left in the car, the Tesla app will alert the owner and activate the HVAC system, and in an emergency, the vehicle will contact emergency services and share its current location. The cabin radar first row sensing system comes standard and enabled on later batches of the new Model Ys, Model 3s, and the Cybertrucks. For early Model Ys launch series that don't have the radar included, Tesla is now offering a free retrofit to ensure capability with the upcoming Spring 2025 software update that enables child presence detection for the rear seats. Additionally, Tesla has just introduced a new braking system exclusive to the Model Y, which is not available on any other models at the moment. In a video highlighted by Lars, VP of Vehicle Engineering, he points out the core benefits of this new braking meshing system that seamlessly moves between the physical and regen braking, enabling a much better manual driving experience while also incorporating the key benefits into the autopilot and self-driving stack. This means that the brake pedals in the latest Model Ys will feel noticeably firmer and remain in the same position even as autopilot adjusts for traffic. This consistency provides drivers with a greater sense of confidence in the pedal's positioning. Alongside the hardware upgrades, Tesla is set to roll out the spring update in the coming weeks, introducing UI changes aimed at improving transparency. In the latest findings, it was revealed that Tesla plans to introduce a battery health test monitor in the upcoming software. This update includes a new health test window offering owners a more detailed view into their vehicle's battery status. A user on X that goes by Raphael gave us a preview of what this new window looks like and how you can access it by going through the control service screen. This is the same test found in the service menu for technicians to diagnose issues, but now integrated into the main UI, making it more accessible for owners to take a look at their very own packs. The dedicated menu now displays a health status with an option to initiate a battery health test and to perform and get an accurate reading, the car must remain connected to an AC charger for up to 16 hours. Along with this change comes a few additional items including a redesigned consumption page. There is a new scale button to display energy usage for the last 10, 100 or 200 miles, a new window when tapping onto the eye information icon with an option to clear the history. And as found by another user on X that goes by Pierre, Tesla has updated the information window to now display decimal points for all the current driving stats. Now, it's honestly pretty crazy the amount of changes and development happening over a span of a few months and specifically on the Model Y universe. What's even more crazy than that though is that they have already updated the production line and newer batches of the Model Ys with things like the upgraded faster 5G modems as well as the noise cancellation seats. Tesla is basically packing as many features as possible to stay competitive with other EVs especially in the Chinese market but it doesn't stop there. They have included a significant update underneath the hood that many of you may not be aware of. This upgrade here is a major rework of the HVAC system and this is going to be a substantial upgrade in the following months 
once Tesla gets it all ramping and full software has been included. In early 2022, Tesla updated its previous design with the Super Manifold, releasing iteration version 1.1. This upgrade improved wasted heat processing and prevented oil leakage in the system, which helped avoid freezing and as a result has resolved many of the heat pump issues on older Model Ys. And now in 2024, Tesla introduces the second generation Super Manifold V2 in the new Model Ys, offering improved cooling capacity over the original. This will bring further improvements on efficiency, provide better cooling, and work in extreme climates that prior versions would struggle in. More importantly, this upgrade paves the way for future software enhancements that will unlock the full capabilities of the system and improve on the overall driving range. Lars Maravi, Tesla's VP of Engineering, mentioned that the Super Manifold V2 is currently being produced and will roll out starting now and into the next year. And depending on when and where the vehicle is purchased, you may or may not get this upgrade. So unfortunately, it won't be included in every new Model Y at launch and will be difficult to determine if you have the old or the new, but the software UI will eventually be updated and reflect the changes. Tesla will gradually introduce it across the entire lineup with different rollout rates at each factory depending on parts availability. It is likely that this upgrade will be introduced to newer vehicles and one being refreshed this year, including the Model S, Model X and the Cybercab. At this time, the only vehicle with the complete rollout of the Super Manifold V2 heat pump is the Cybertruck, which has performed exceptionally well without any known issues as of yet. All right, so there you have it. Tons of improvements underneath the hood and tons of things that Tesla has been working on without our knowledge. And a lot of them are being upgraded and updated through software updates alone, but they are working on some physical changes through hardware. These are things that you really want to look out for. These are things that you want to have in your cars by the time you pick it up. In terms of the radar and the brake meshing and all the other upgrades, good news is we have received confirmation that there is a retrofit. There is going to be an available service change that you can get your car added with this system right before the spring update comes out. So you're good on that front. But the one thing that you might want to wait out for is the upgraded 5G modem that is going to boost the speed up to one gigabit per second. This is gonna drastically improve the UI experience if you're trying to communicate, have Zoom calls, or trying to download something. And then of course, for the biggest one, that is going to be the Super Manifold V2 heat pump. This is going to be a massive upgrade when the software is ready, when everything is set, we are probably going to be seeing a much bigger range increase than we're seeing right now, especially when it's able to perform much better, more efficient in hot and cold environments. This is going to be the thing that really changes the overall driving experience when you are in the inside and turning on your climate control. Now, at the moment, if you're about to take delivery of your new Model Y launch series, I wouldn't sweat too much about it, it just because even if you get version iteration 1.1 of the heat pump or the second generation of the heat pump, you're not gonna really notice much of a difference right now without much software tuning you're probably gonna get the exact same experience. But anyways, I will be keeping you guys as updated as possible on everything that comes up regarding Tesla. So I would love it if you guys stick around, hit that subscribe and the bell notification if you haven't done so already, and follow me on X at hey John E. Over there, you guys will see things you wouldn't see here. And you guys can chat with me anytime and will respond as quickly as possible. This should be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.